Hey guys, in today's video we're gonna discuss how to make highlighter effect and magnify effect in Premiere Pro. And it's really useful if you want to add books, articles or any other publications into your videos. So let's dive into it. Uh, say you have this article and you want to highlight the text while you're reading it. All you have to do is to use a rectangle tool from a tools panel. If you don't see it, it's probably hidden under pen tool. Create a rectangle. Now we have to select the color. You can do it either in uh, effect controls tab, go to the shape and you'll see this uh, fill option. The other way to change the color is go to the top uh, menu select effects and then uh, you'll find um, essential graphics and finally edit window and here it is on the right side of my screen i just uh, fill and uh, opacity the way i prefer it then in the effects control uh, window i find opacity settings and change the blend mode to uh, multiply now uh, my highlighter lies under the text and not over it Last thing we need to do is to animate uh, the highlighter. When you are in editing mode, in the bottom right corner of your working panel, you will see those arrows and you have to switch to effects window. Search for a crop feature and then apply it uh, to your graphic layer. All you have to do is to drag the effect to the sequence. Adjust the length of the graphic to your screenshot. Now find the word crop in your effect control tab. In order to animate it, rewind the position of the player to the first frame of the clip. In the row right, press this little alarm and change the percentage to 100. Then move forward to the last frame of the clip and create keyframe. Change the percentage back to zero. Now, as can you see, highlighter effect is animated. In order to make the transition smoother, press uh, on your first keyframe key with the right mouse button and select is out. And uh, for the last keyframe, you have to select is in. Our highlighter effect is ready. A useful tip uh, when adding articles to the video is to zoom in to certain parts of the text. To create this effect, you can play with magnify tool in the effects window, but I find this way not the most optimal. What I do instead, I duplicate the image that I plan to zoom in. Press Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, click and drag about the existing image. After that, I apply the crop effect to the top image. If you will press crop in your effect controls tab, that will bring those little handles in your program monitor, and I'm going to drag those handles to crop the part I want to magnify. Now I'm going to zoom in on this paragraph I chose. I make sure I select a top uh, clip, go to motion, again, rewind the position of the player to the place you want the animation to start. Click on position and scale and leave the settings untouched. And then move, say, 10 frames forward and create keyframes for position and scale again. Now adjust the scale percentage according to your needs. I'll scale mine up to 100%. The position setting will help you to change the position of the paragraph. Then count 10 frames before the ending of the clip, create keyframes and leave the settings untouched. Scroll to the ending of your clip, create two keyframes again, and change their settings the same as they were in the first keyframe. For my image, I see that I have to scale it down to 50%, and for position, I just press reset the parameter. Let's check how it works now. See, it's fine, but let's make it more distinct from the bottom layer. First of all, let's apply a shadow feature from the effects window. Then we can play with the bottom layer and we'll create animation for the opacity setting. We create a keyframe in the beginning and remain it untouched. Then we move 10 keyframes forward. It should be the same as in the top layer, keep that in mind. I create another keyframe and decrease the opacity down to 40%. Okay, now only two keyframes remain. I create a keyframe 10 frames before the ending of the clip and it remains its settings. For the keyframe at the end of the clip, I increase the opacity back to 100%. Finally, use uh, the is in is out feature as in highlighter effect in order to make your animation smoother. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe.